there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Ask your advice. Yes? Look, just, just say, if there's anything I can help you with, I... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably blowing it all out of proportion. It's... It's only a problem with one of the students. Well, it's obviously bothering you. Yes, well, but I should be able to deal with him myself. I mean, I'm hardly a greenhorn, am I? Well, no, but uh, we all need help sometimes. If it gets any worse, which it probably won't, I will talk to you. Promise. I know you broke into my joint last night and the night before. If you so much as look at my place again, so will help me off. What? Treat me to another one of your right hooks? Look, lady, the cops are right on to you. You are not going to keep getting away with this. I'm going to make damn sure of it. Will you indeed? And how exactly are you going to do that, Irene, with absolutely no proof whatsoever? You know, you should really exercise a little more control on that vicious tongue of yours. Or what? Are you threatening me? Oh, this is all becoming terribly cliche, isn't it? Although I can understand why you're hysterical. I mean, it must be hard for you to know the truth about Nick. My kid has done nothing wrong. And if you think for a single second people around here are going to believe that he has, you got one more screw loose than I thought. I'll be sure to reassure him of that next time I see him lurking outside my bedroom window. Oh, and Irene, enjoy your first day at university. I think it's lovely you're finally getting an education. How was your day, Nick? Oh. A rather frosty reception. Something wrong. What was with all that stuff with Jade? Well done, Jade. Special pat on the back for Jade. I'm sorry. Jade happened to hand in a very good piece of work and I was giving her the praise it deserved. Do you have a problem with that? If her last name wasn't Sutherland, maybe I wouldn't. Oh, poor Nick. You see, plots and schemes are everywhere. I give praise where praise is due. I hope that's all it is. So I'm starting to know how you think. Nick Smith, that is a shocking thing to say. I'm ending this conversation right now. What? Last warning, Nick. I'm running out of patience. Irene gave this to me, but I actually think that you might be the best person to deal with it. Well, what is it? Well, it's a dossier that she's been keeping on Angela Russell. Might help you take care of that unfinished business. I just... I just don't believe it. Why would anyone want to prepare a scandal sheet on me? I don't think why is relevant, Angie. If it was Irene who prepared that, you have to understand, Don. She assaulted me. And don't you think she might be doing this in an effort to deflect attention from herself and from Nick? Nick? What has Nick Smith got to do with this? Remember, I told you about a student that I was having problems with. A matter of inappropriate behaviour. It was Nick Smith. Perhaps I should have been upfront with you earlier. But given the nature of the allegations made about me at my previous school, I feared that the situation may be misconstrued again. Uh, look, this is becoming a rather, uh, rather complex situation. But you have to understand that my first obligation is to the students. Of course. As is mine. Right. Well, I'll keep you informed. Didn't you hear the bell? Class has already started. I'm not going to ask again. We're not coming to your class. I beg your pardon. We're boycotting your classes until further notice in protest over your behaviour towards certain students. Do you really think this is mature behaviour? All right. We have two options here. Either you come to class now and we forget all about your little industrial action or you proceed and face the consequences which, I should point out, will be dire. We'll take our chances. Come on, let's go. What is the meaning of this? Why aren't you in class? Do you have any idea how many school rules you're breaking? We're not wagging, Mr Fisher. Oh, really? Well, what would you call it then? We're boycotting. We refuse to go to Miss Russell's classes. We object to the way she's treating certain students. Oh, is that so? 
Yeah, and we didn't want to make a disturbance at the school, so we just decided to come down here. Who's behind all this? You, Smith? We're all in it together. It's the only way we can make a point. Yes, well, consider it made. Now, if, if you don't all report to Miss Fletcher within five minutes, you can expect immediate suspension. Clear? I'd rather be expelled than face Mrs. Russell. You'll do exactly as Miss Fletcher tells you, and as quickly as possible. Mr. Smith, you wanted to see me. Um, if it's about your essay, I have it with me. I, I didn't... Uh... I don't have all afternoon, Nick. Shut the door, please. What's this about? I was really hurt by that stunt you pulled this afternoon. It wasn't a stunt. What have I done to deserve this, Nick? I think you know. Well, that's the thing. I have to explain your actions to Mr. Fisher, and I really don't know where to start. Do you really want me to spell it out? What I want, above all, is for us to put this behind us. What I need you to do is to explain to Mr. Fisher that this is a big mistake. That nobody treated you unfairly. I will make sure that you are not disciplined. I can't do that. Don't defy me, Nick. I'm over this, Mrs. Russell. You can threaten me as much as you want, but I'm not playing your games anymore. Oh, you poor misguided boy. You are so out of your depth. I don't think so. Oh, I do. I'm not going to let you beat me. Help me! Somebody, please! Stop! Help! 